had so much time on my hands, I would do extra stuff that I would get complimented on and it would be noticed. And, you know, the rest of the staff would get spiteful that I was getting noticed. check them in because I was a security guard and so I'd have to basically know everybody by name and I'd have to tell another guy who would sign them in and then let them on the premises and fucking I would say oh uh, it was like I said it was some Spanish guy that's his name and he goes who was that again there's too many Spanish people that work here and a supervisor heard him say that and literally they both had to say Let's say he said that and get him the fuck out of here. And that's what happened. So they said, they didn't want to tell me anything. They said, we need you to come down to headquarters, which was like an hour away. And I was like, why can't you tell me what the fuck is up? Drive all the way out there. And they asked me if I said it. I said, no, he said it. She heard him. Everybody heard him. And they said, well, I said, so I'm fired. And they're like, no, we just need to relocate you. And the only place they relocate me was a distance that they knew I couldn't travel. So they were, oh, wow. yeah, it was like stale. And I was like, why aren't these other people relocated? What the fuck? Like the, you know, the company we worked for, they wanted me there. It was just all about the money though. So, I mean, I know how it is. So I gave up and I've dealt with some tough times. And in fact, we're dealing with some tough shit right now. I just make it look good. You know I mean, you know, you know all about that. Making it look oh, yeah. good. That's, that's, that's the name of the game, dude. I'm not even, I'm right there with you. I just make it look better. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. we went to fucking, like, what? Uh, we're, we're so broke right now. Uh, my girl used credits from Target that she earned. It was like 20 bucks. And we frugally shopped for dinner. Like $20 at fucking Target. So, dude, I know how it is. Shit. Things get rough. So, at least, at least, you know, the food, some of the things are, are handled when you supply that buckling, you know, ahead of time. But it's just, and that's what I'm, it's, that's it's, what I'm it's, it's two vehicle payments, the rent, the insurance, all the other shit, you know, that in the beginning of the month, coming up next month, that I wasn't ready for. Well, I have my PTO up front, I like, covered everything. It was good to give me some time to get, get that to get a job, get things in that month. Like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, that made me check that from yesterday. Well, it's never as bad as it seems, man. And I, and you know, we all have faith in you, so we know everything's gonna be just fine, dude. So just keep your head up. Yeah. Thanks, man. You're gonna make a face. I'm sorry, man. That's messed up. We'll get through it. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna keep pushing. Yeah, man. Got you. No, I have no other options. <laughs> that's that's, that's got to be done. So. Yeah. yeah. How's it going, Phil? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. What's up, Phil? Hey, what's going on, Paul? Right. Watching some behind the scenes of the making of Children of the Corn, trying to come up with, come up with something to ask uh, Courtney that doesn't sound completely stupid. Oh, yeah. Topic tonight, just him open top, you know, questions for him, open up, you know, the usual, whatever. Cool. So I can keep talking, ask questions. Um, it doesn't say welcome to the round table of Paul Dale Roberts. It's just going to pop on. Paul, here, I'll, I'll go, I'll show you the screens real quick. It's okay. just going to pop on, and you're going to go. 
Okay. You can see the screen right there. You ever see the movie Leprechaun? The following show contains Steve Kinfon. Here is your host, the one and only Leatherface. Stephen King, uh, wasn't it Stephen, wasn't it Stephen King that did Children of the Corn when he wrote the story? Yes, it was. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It was Stephen King, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. So here, here's where we, we talk about the bringing them on, and we do. Let me bring them on right here. That's where we're going to talk for quite a while. For that first half hour, we're going to keep them here. We'll talk about the stuff. And we have other movies he was in. He's in the band. Of course, he's Kane's band right now. Just put him in off now. Try to keep it more movie oriented at first. But now, um, we'll go into his little music, music video before we go into the round table to do this. Cool. Hey, have you guys have you guys seen that TV sh uh, show called From? Yeah. Yeah. That that's yeah, a, that's a very good TV show. It's a it's a little mix of the mimics, Black Eyed Kids, Walking Dead, and Missing Four One One. Yeah, it's. Uh, it, I did some binge watching and I did about ten episodes in one night. Wow. Yeah. I just started watching the Righteous Gemstones. It's pretty fucking hilarious. I've never heard of that. It's on HBO Max, but I got it through a cracked fire stick. It's um, it's got uh, John Goodman plays like this uh founder of a church, like a Billy Graham type character. Okay. And he's okay. got three kids that are just complete pieces of shit, and, uh, and the, the, the whole, all the different shit they get into, um, uh, the guy from, what the hell's his name, um, god damn it, Andy McBride, yeah, yeah, he's, what called, he's fucking hilarious in it, but there's also, like, the guy from, uh, Workaholics is in it, plays, like, the youngest brother, and then whoever plays the sister is fucking hilarious, huh. Principles. No. It, it came out before it, 
it came out right after he's found in doubt. And it's with Danny McBride, and it's with the girl who plays his sister on uh, Righteous Gemstones. Oh, uh, it's, it's just like that shit, but it's them in a school, and he's trying to be the principal, uh, and he keeps getting fucked over in a school, and it's hilarious. It's cool. I think it looks like he's, he's found down principals, and then, yeah, I think it's Righteous Gemstones after that. But yeah, Danny McBride shit is hilarious. I love East Bound and Down. That's <laughs> like the funniest shit ever. East Bound and Down. They got the same thing to do that. They can't be done. If you ever get a chance to watch that show, especially the episode with Will Ferrell. Yeah. Oh my god. They're just uh, they're some of the funniest shit on TV ever. Huh. Yeah. The only thing on HBO Max I'm watching is The Last of Us. Which is about these zombies that became yeah, zombies. Yeah, the game, right? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. some kind of fungi, and they become like a fungus, it's weird. Okay, so after we, um, so after your intro, we're going to be here talking for the remaining half hour, then when we're done, let's say goodbye to him, and we'll be back with the Wheel of Doom, we'll go to the, he'll go here, to the Uranus commercial, then it'll be back to me and Phil for the closer. Are we, uh... Scissor. I'll throw a scissor. You throw a rock. Okay. All right, that works. But um, I will argue. I'll we'll always do necromancy. You know, I want to hear about chicks doing dead dudes or something. Like, that's weird. To say. No, all right, make a deal. Paper yeah. rock, scissors. You know, one round. I'll throw cool. scissors. If you throw a rock, you fuck up. <laughs> 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 She sounds like a real winner. God, if she wasn't so damn good looking, I wouldn't have talked to her for as long as I did. Well, are you, well, you going to 
decide to go out with her at some point in time, or? Nah, she's like an hour and 20 minutes north of me, and I'm, no. I figured I, I just, I canceled the date, and I'm, I, I just, I can't <coughs> go anymore, because she's, um, like I said, it, it's, yeah. We saved you, we saved you from that. Hey, Phil, excuse me, I, a face is texting me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking flip phone. Oh, my God, that old motherfucker. Pulls out a motherfucking flip phone. Oh he's, over there, oh, he's over there texting me. <laughs> he's over and texting me. You guys can't figure out how to fucking turn the camera around. <laughs> person said they watched that three times because it was so hilarious. There's a lot of good stuff on TV. I mean, but I, a lot of times I just don't have time to watch all these shows. But yeah. Yeah, you know, sometimes I still go back and watch Magnum PI reruns. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, the one of the guys uh, on the original Magnum PI I met on a plane. Hey, um, good. How are you? Can you hear me? Good. Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, Courtney. Paul was just telling us how he met uh, somebody from Magnum P.I. Which one was it? Uh, the, the, I think the, the chubby Japanese guy. Isn't he, are you talking about Hawaii 50? Oh, yeah. Hawaii 50. That's <laughs> one. Oh, man. The other Hawaii top seller. Oh, God. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's... So, I got to grab some coffee. He'll be right back. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't, don't, I, I came on super early because I was worried about the, you know going on on a different computer and all that. So we were just making sure everything worked. So no, oh, hurry. Right. no hurry. Just was just playing it safe. Yes, I appreciate you being here. We were just uh, admiring your guitar collection. Yeah, yeah, I heard you rattling off everything. Yeah, it's all mainly their copies and stuff like yeah, like it's like it's like a that's a Harley Bank. That's the uh, that's the uh, the, the Beatles now. The Beatles no, no. That's just no, 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 no. the only one that's legit oh, is probably on the left there. That's actually a, a Martin, you know. But most of them are just copies. Yeah, that, that Martin's a little too rich for my blood. I got a, a guild on the wall back here, but uh, nice. Yeah, that's um, I've had that one since I was like fourteen. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, that was my uh, my, my girlfriend's father's. Decided to take up guitar and he got the thing and he wasn't playing it. It's just, it's, it's kind of small, you know, which is actually kind of nice, kind of easy to play for gigs. And I, so I decided we wanted to sell it, so I bought it from him. But it's, yeah, it's been, nice, it's been a nice guitar for gigs. It's just a nice little small, easy guitar. Not a big, you know, not a big one. You talk about ban- I, got a, I got a banjo when I first moved here to North Carolina <coughs> about three years ago. That's I was going to learn a banjo. Carolina. That's what you're supposed to do when you move to South. Get a banjo. Yeah, I'll be right down and get some coffee. I haven't heard, I haven't heard one since I've been here either. <laughs> yeah, 
No, I'm just being sick ass. Yeah, I live in uh, I live in Savannah myself now, so I'm I'm in the south as well. Alright. Yeah. yeah, isn't it though? Yeah, yeah it really is. Yeah, I remember going there after I graduated uh, boot camp and uh, going all on the river walk and all there. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, that's my my uh, my girlfriend. I tried to get me here for years because she was a uh, she was she's from Brooklyn. She's a school teacher. She'd take vacations here quite a bit. Finally, she drug me down here. I was like, this is awesome. Let's let's get a house I can actually afford and get the hell out of L.A. And been here five years. Now. Right. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, it's worked out. It's worked out. There's a good music. I mean, being this tourist town, there's a good music scene. You know, we're able to we're able, have a band. You know, we play out pretty frequently, so it's pretty cool. I did 44 years in California. I'm done. Yeah, you and me both, brother. You and me both. <laughs> I miss it a little bit. I don't miss down south. But I miss up where all my friends all, are. So. All I tell, all I miss in LA is is the mountains and good Mexican food. People think they know what good Mexican food is. Oh, yeah. that is yeah. incredible. <laughs> biggest burritos you can hold, even hold yourself, man. That's well, I, mean, I want to go to Trejo's tacos. I want to go there. The entire time. <laughs> yeah, uh, Danny, Danny Trejo has that taco place I want to go see. Yeah, he does. It's pretty good, too. Is it? Uh, uh, that's pretty good. There's a cantina lily in uh, Savannah. Uh, not that I know of. It's a, it's a chain down here. And I'm in Florida. I'm in Flagler Beach. I was in California for like 25 years. But um. So what, what was it, say the name of the place in Florida again? It's called, it's called Cantina Louie. No, but no, where you live? Oh, I, oh I'm in Flagler Beach. Flagler Beach, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Are you, are you by, uh, 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 is, is Flagler, Co- Flagler College? Uh, yeah, in, uh, that's, that's in St. Augustine, so it's, it's, it's in between uh, St. Augustine and Daytona, like right in the middle there. Oh, okay, excellent, yeah, we love St. Augustine, I go there, I go there like every year. Yeah, I do too, I, lo- I love that <coughs> city, I go up there whenever I get a chance, it's only about 40 minutes from me. Oh, cool, well, maybe we'll actually have to hook up at some point then. Oh, I'd love that. And yeah. what part of North Carolina? You said North Carolina. What part? Is that what you said? North Carolina or South Carolina? Yeah, yeah. He's in, he's in the he's in the hills. I'm in, in North. North. I'm up in Roxboro, like uh, 20 minutes from the Virginia. Oh, South cool. Boston. Cool, cool. This is up in the country, out middle of nowhere. Nice, nice. BFE. I heard a helicopter just up in here. Wow, you really are out. You really are out then. That's amazing. All the snakes and spiders, though. Like, fuck that. <laughs> cool on that shit, man. Oh. I remember my, my first time in California, and I drove cross country. It took, you know, a little over four days, completely exhausted. And I go to sleep in the first apartment I was able to get. In the middle of the night, these lights hit the bedroom window, and they lit up the whole damn bedroom window. And, and I just, and I was exhausted <laughs> after driving across the country, and I sit straight up on the bed, and I thought it was. Fucking aliens or something. Oh my God. <laughs> but it was cops. It, it was, and then quickly my neighbor's like, "Oh, that's the ghetto bird." <laughs> yep, they're coming to touch my butthole again. That's 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 why I. Yeah. When you were talking about the uh, uh, airplane, I mean helicopters. Yeah, man, in L.A., man, it's out of control. Courtney, yeah, have you ever? every damn night. Courtney, yes, yes, exactly. Courtney, have you ever been to Sacramento, California? Oh no, sure. Oh okay, okay. That's the that world, really. Where you are. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's where we all met. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of yeah, indie, indie films. I've done a couple of documentaries and, you know, shot face with a, a bunch of different skits and uh, things that we've done. He's a, was a pro wrestler, so I've shot a ton of that, too. And anyways, yeah, that's kind of how we met. Gotcha, gotcha. And who's this guy just answered? Back to Jesus. Tristan and Purple Sticky, we call him. Yeah. That's quite the background you got there, Purple Sticky. We're in a competition. We're competing. <laughs> he's winning, man. He's winning. Yeah, he's got the flashy lights and everything. <laughs> he's just got it going. <laughs> well, I don't mind. We'll go grab the water real quick. No problem. I'm just checking with everybody here to make sure. Good to go. Where's Amy? She always comes at the last minute and worries me. Yeah. Oh, Dave? Amy. Amy. Who's Amy? Well, you guys got a serious posse then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is an excuse for everybody who doesn't live near each other anymore to get together once in a week hang out. That's right, man. That's really smart. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah we, um, I made the podcast. I, got, I moved away. I made the podcast to hang out with my friends. So pretty much everybody on the show is, is like all, it's all friends. Like 
as yeah. girlfriends. Too. Yeah, people. face has a history with all of us. Yeah. Gotcha. You ever seen that movie Leprechaun? Yep, yep. I like that. Hat, giving off straight up leprechaun vibes, like that movie. Isn't it like the background to the, the leprechaun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just want me to go. <laughs> hey, I just I just got to see the last Borge of Demeter. Uh, how was it? That was good. It was good, but it, it wasn't long enough. It was like too short. Well, just you know, of course, we had a, a chick on named um, Daniel Diva. And she's yeah. like the actual living bloodline of Dracula. No, no kidding. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever the hell his name is. I mean, whatever it is. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we had her on. Yeah, she's pretty hot. That's, yeah, she's pretty hot. Yeah, she mesmerized you with her gaze. Much like they were the wife in the next room watching the podcast, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I had to be good. There you go. <clears throat> All right. Hurt you. <clears throat> so the first half hour uh, will be just me and... Um, Bill talking to you, mostly, okay. about, mostly about the movies and films to start off with, and before we go into the round table, that's the second half hour with everybody, uh, we're going to play, we'll play your music video, it's the black and white one I spent on YouTube from a few days ago. Okay, cool, cool. So, that was awesome, that's an excellent video, so we'll play that, I'll play that too, and we'll talk about your music. And what are you talking about, whatever you want to talk about, our movies and stuff too, don't forget, can't talk about this stuff, as long as you, you know, talk, talk about the movie. Documentaries that I've done, they, they they tell me to keep my mouth shut till it gets out there. So yeah, yeah. 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 Hopefully this thing will be over soon. It's a pretty nasty. Last week we 